Great, welcome back. So now we're going to look at some overall efficiency ratios. So first we're going to look at sales to assets, which is the amount in sales divided by the total number of assets. And that measures the efficiency of your total assets in generating sales. So for example, if I had a total if I had a sales to assets ratio of 1.5, that would set that would tell me that for every dollar that I have invested in assets, I'm going to generate a dollar fifty in sales. Okay? Let's look at the next one. We've also got return on assets. That is the net profit before tax divided by total assets. That's going to measure the efficiency of total assets in generating net profit before tax. So let's say that, oh, I had a ratio of, let's make it easy, 30%. That would tell me that for every $1 that I invest in assets, I generate a net profit before tax of 30 cents. We've also got return on investment. That's the net profit before tax divided by the net worth. Okay. Let's say it's a little bit uh, lower number here. Let's say it's 10%. Okay. That tells you that for every dollar we've invested in the company's net worth is going to give me some sort of a return of about 10 cents. Okay. These are your overall efficiency ratios. Again. Good for comparing to industry leaders and other competitors in the market. Great. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.